happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a press on nail video for you all i'm going to be testing out these bt art box press on nails and um just a quick disclaimer this video is a little bit all over the place so i actually previously recorded this entire video and i lost my intro where i applied the nails and so i'm refilming it right now for you guys but you all will be able to see um how with this application method i was able to get these nails to last for two plus weeks using nail glue and some peel off base coat okay so i'm gonna show you all how i did that but um this is the beautiful design that i'm going to be going in with i'm just going to show you all how i actually apply it by applying it to my thumb and before i hop into the video you guys happy new year <laughs> happy 2023 okay i hope your, your year is off to a great start thus far um mine this is trucking along slowly but surely just trying to keep up with you know all the awesome things that are coming my way with the nail tips you want to make sure you size out a nail tip that fits a side wall to side wall this one is actually ever so slightly too small because i use my proper size when i use my initial set i'm just going to do this for demo purposes but you want to make sure that the nail tips reach you know from side wall from side wall to side wall and this one's a pretty close fit so i'm going to go with this one um the first thing you want to do is for the actual tip itself you want to go in and etch the inside of the nail okay And by doing this, it's going to give better adhesion to um, the nail glue, okay? Next, what you want to do is prep your natural nail. So I'm going to prep my natural nail by first pushing back the cuticle. So I'm going to push it back with this wooden stick here, okay, like so. And then from there, I'm just going to scrape off any protein that's on the nail here, okay, like so. And then I'm going to go in with a nail file. So I did actually use all the items that was included with this kit when I went out of town. So I'm going to go ahead. So you saw, see, I used this nail file while I was traveling. So I'm going to actually go ahead and... Oh, sorry, face. So I'm going to actually just use this nail file and lightly buff the surface of the natural nail to remove any shine, any dust, and any debris. Okay, like so. That's perfect. And I'm also gonna bring in the size of the nail ever so slightly because I'm going in with the almond shape. I don't want any of the nail to be hanging over the side. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of swipe to dehydrate the nail, but, you, but when I did this set, I originally went in with the alcohol pad that actually came with my kit. And you'll wanna just dehydrate the nail really quick. Next, what you'll want to do is go in with two layers of protein bond. This is going to be the key to making sure when you put on your peel off base coat, the nails just don't pop off within a few days. Um, this is going to actually give it longevity. So I'm going to apply two layers of my, um, my protein bond. Next, you'll want to go in with your peel off base coat. I'm going to be going in with my all time fave from Moran, and I'm going to apply that to the entire nail and cure for 60 seconds. This is what's going to make um, the removal um, a lot easier and then also protect your natural nail from the uh, nail glue. And once that's on, I'll cure for 60 seconds. After you have applied the peel off base coat, then you will go in with your matte top coat. And this is actually kind of like my Rose Beauty peel off method that I showed you guys. Um, a few months ago but um i did it i did like acrylic on top of it so this time around i'm gonna be putting super glue on top of it and so that's the nice thing about using this matte top coat is it it really mimics a dehydrated nail bed so then you're really able to go in with any application method on top of it um to do your nails so um this is a good base for applying poly gel acrylic nails um, how I'm going to do it, applying press-ons, etc., and still be able to have easy like removal. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. This is what the thumbnail is looking like. So again, like I said, this is a good base for any application on top of it while still having that, that pop-off easy removal option. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my press-on. So I'm going to be going in with the BT Art Box nail glue. And when applying the nail glue to the nails, um, I always apply a thin layer to my actual nail first. So I'll go ahead and press the nail glue on. And then I'll just spread it out. I just do a nice thin layer on the actual natural nail itself. 
making sure to cover the whole surface. Next what I'll do is I'll take the press on nail and since I'm doing my thumbnail, my thumb tends to be like my problem um, nail because um, it's flat and so I'll go in with two drops of the nail glue inside of here hoping to feel that well okay and then from there what I'll do is I'll actually take the nail and I'll like press it into the glue that way nail glue kind of gets at the cuticle area of the nail and then I'll slightly tuck it underneath my cuticle and press down and then I'll keep pressing keep pressing keep pressing until the nail glue you know starts to dry um, you'll want to keep a firm pressure on your nail when doing this because if you remove it too early it's going to cause air bubbles and so yeah I'll just keep pressing keep pressing keep pressing um, if I see any spillage on the side I'll go in and clean it up after I got a little bit of a seal so like on this side there's a little bit of spillage I'm just going to go in with my lint free wipe um, if you're doing this while you're traveling you can just use the alcohol pad that came with the kit and you'll just want to keep pressing until um, like I said that nail glue dries. This is what the nail looks like after it's been applied. As you all can see there's very minimal to no air bubbles at all. That is what you'll want to make sure that you have that longevity that'll get your nails to last about two weeks. And so yeah again like I said I did already do this video and so I'm gonna jump to me uh, with all the nails fully applied and show you all how this technique worked to get me to have my nails last for two plus weeks. Alrighty, so this is what all the nails look like after they have been applied. I do not plan to add any base coat or top coat to these nails. I really want to put them to the test and see um, if this design has any issues with like peeling or chipping or anything like that. And I will say I'm absolutely loving this um, kind of medium almond look on me. Like it's so cute and it's so dainty. I'm going to go ahead and throw some cuticle oil on these crusty cuticles and we're going to be back with the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute? Yes, I am absolutely loving how this beautiful glitter ombre press on set turned out. Again, y'all, these press on nails, don't they be giving life? Okay, these are super duper cute. I'm absolutely loving like this iridescent glitter that has like this green slash kind of orange pinkish purpley kind of shift to it it's just absolutely beautiful so yes I am going to go ahead and take these nails on the road with me I'm going to be gone I'm going to Arizona actually I'm doing a huge group trip it's going to be like 14 of us and we have a lot of activities planned during that trip and so I will let you all know how these hold up with my rose peel off method and so yeah I will see you all shortly okay happy people I am back with a six day update it's exactly six days later and this is how the press on nails are holding on they are holding on quite nicely especially given the fact that I did use um, my rose peel off method with a peel off base coat y'all these nails are still looking super stunning um, there is no lifting on any of the nails surprisingly um, so this is what they are looking like thus far okay no lifting at all which I actually was expecting some well I think this one has like very very minor lifting but nothing even noticeable and like I said especially having done my peel off method I would have thought that there would have been like minimal lifting right so yeah the nails are holding up pretty good uh, there's slight 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 new growth you can barely see it honestly uh, but that is how they are holding up over here slight new growth and again when I apply my press on nails I do slightly tuck them underneath the cuticle and so I think that helps them to still look fresh even a week later you guys I have done everything in these nails I did take a trip to Arizona and y'all the trip was eh Big, okay I am going to try to insert some pictures of everything we did but I went with a group of 14 friends and we just went and we just had a blast we um, rented out this huge Airbnb in Phoenix Arizona and we uh, had catering at our Airbnb where they cooked us some yummy delicious meal we had fried catfish greens mac and cheese all the food was delicious we also did a UTV tour which essentially was like dirt biking on a four-wheeler in the mountains in Arizona holy moly y'all that was absolutely amazing I had the opportunity to actually drive our UTV and holy smokes like it was so much fun and y'all when I say the scenery was absolutely breathtaking holy smokes it was like 
it was like a, a, a moving postcard and cacti up to like eight feet tall and y'all we got dusty and dirty okay so I like I said I'm gonna try to insert pictures of everything that we did after the UTV tour we um, went and did this really cool cocktail experience where we had these exquisite drinks I mean they were really next level drinks that had so much depth and flavor and just unfoldingness of it they have like these different rooms one was train themed one was tiki bar themed and we actually rented out the whole bar in which it was an old school bar theme i think it was set in like the 50s or 60s or something really cool um and then that last day you guys we went to like this really awesome epic brunch where oh my gosh y'all they had a live dj there it was so lit that's all i could say i would say we were the life of the party after that we went back to the pool hung out and then later that night y'all we got all dressed up and had our final dinner i actually had duck for the first time which was really delicious and so yeah y'all when i say it was an amazing time you guys holy moly it was a much needed break um prior to the trip i had been really really stressed out just again life was just happening and it just was hard coping and dealing and just being able to get away from everything and get a nice fresh reset was well needed in my life and so yeah y'all through all of these awesome adventures these awesome nails held up and so i really can't say enough good things about the bt art box press on nails i do really like them a lot as y'all can see this i i use these for my choice on this trip even though i knew it was going to be like a, a trip where you know i would be doing some fancy things that's also getting down and dirty these held up really well especially with my pillow face coat which was pretty impressive so yeah y'all i'm trying to decide how much longer i want to keep them on i think i'm gonna go and still keep them on a little bit longer with this particular set i think that claim of no uh chipping and peeling is true because as you all can see on the tips i've not experienced any peeling or chipping or anything like that it is exactly 11 days later just want to give you all my final update on the nails this is how they are looking these nails have been on quite the journey with me as you all saw i went the i took these nails out of town in arizona and then i actually recently attended a nigerian wedding a friend of a friend got married and i just want to insert a clip of us dancing from the wedding because you know it was fun and stuff and so yeah i'll just insert some clips and pictures here it just was really beautiful seeing a nice traditional wedding done um and even seeing how you know uh, the woman honors the man I, I one of my favorite parts of the wedding was when um the wife danced over to the husband and then placed the hat on his head kind of essentially crowning her king which i thought was really beautiful so like i said i'll try to insert pictures of all of that as you all can see there is some new growth here at the cuticle area on all of the nails i must say i am really loving how these held up i wasn't actually expecting these to last that long especially given the fact that i use peel off base coat um so as you all can see again there's that new growth here 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 and here and yeah y'all i'm i'm impressed so i'm gonna show y'all what the lifting is looking like on this very very minimal lifting very very minimal i think there's just a little bit here little to no lifting here minimal lifting here very minimal on both of the thumbs but this one here this one is about to fall off y'all this is the lifting on this nail right here as you all can see it's like holding on by like a thread so i am going to go ahead and uh take these off i'm actually going to take this one off on camera with you guys here just to see how easy it is for them to pop off but just like that the nails pop off and then you can reuse them okay and what i love about doing it with the peel off method is that you can actually reuse these press on nails i'm absolutely loving these bt art box press on nails i've been obsessed with them since i got them they are really high quality okay happy people so i'm back with the final update it's exactly two weeks later and this is what the nails are looking like i literally just finished doing dishes and i lost one that was pretty loose anyway and so yeah i just want to show you all what that new growth is looking like okay y'all see that new growth right up in here so these nails have been lasting really really well and i love how they wore even given the fact that uh well nothing's here um but i love how they wore even given the fact that i did not apply any gel base or top coat to these press on nails you know the tips still look really nice and round um yeah i really really like how these wore a lot so really quick i want to show you my removal process i do have a bowl of hot water so i'm just going to soak my hands for about five minutes all right so it's been about five minutes for some reason i can't find my metal cuticle pusher so i'm just going to go in with this wooden one and what you want to do is just gently push down at the tip of the nail go underneath the nail tip and break the seal like so and once the seal is broken the nail will pop right on off just like that 
okay and because we applied that primer it does the primer sticks to that curable peel off base coat really really well and so typically I can rub this off my nails but I'm actually going to have to go in with maybe like a little bit of acetone to really get this peel off base coat off because the primer um, really helps it to adhere to the nail but it's so easy to remove you guys so I guess I can still kind of scrape it off as you all can see so yeah oops so yeah you just scrape it off like so yeah all done all right, I'm going with the next one here. Yeah, and it just pops right on off, just like that. Okay. And then this one, again, just break the seal. Pops right on off, break the seal. It pops right on off, love it. And on this one, same thing, break the seal. And then it pops right off. And then honestly, I mean honestly, these nails are still on pretty darn good if you if I must say so. So yeah, this is what the nails are looking like after removal. And then all you really need to do is just go in and just um you can either rub it off with your fingernail like so, or just take a lint-free wipe and some alcohol and rub it off. Your nails are all done. So yeah, I just wanted to show you all that removal process really quick. Okay, I just took the other hand off camera, but yeah, y'all, this is what two weeks of new growth looks like. My nails grow so fast. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.